political landscape, uh, landscape uh, will only get hotter leading up to the local and uh, general elections, which are due uh, local government sometime in November. I presume uh, general elections sometime uh, September around there next year. But the Progressive Empowerment Party, the PEP, they are continuing their groundwork uh, with another meeting. It happens tomorrow afternoon in the Kwezi, down by me in Sawa. It will be on the promenade and a political leader, Philip Edward Alexander, is here with us. Uh, Philip, good to see you once again. Thanks very much uh, for, for joining us. So, uh, you're saying that call to action, it's time to rescue the country. PUP could rescue the country? Absolutely. That's where we started. First of all, yeah. First That's of where we started. Good morning to you and all your good, viewers. Yeah, yeah, good morning. I know you're in a mood because the last interview in this year, so yeah. I had a deal with all of it. So, mm -hmm. I'll say this. You and especially your wife mm -hmm. are very important guests. We will have seating set aside for her. That will increase the audience by, uh, what, by, 100%? By two. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but I know that she says she likes some of the things. She likes your do. agenda. She so likes if we're the in agenda. your area, I would uh, just like her to know. Uh, just let her know, please, that uh -huh. we have a space. All right, so do your thing now. Yes. So no. wanna, what you want to know, if it's a call to action. Time you, to rescue the country. So yes, I said to you off mm, air, mm. I don't know how you do this every day without just losing it. You, They should sponsor you a vacation to Disney World just to forget the madness that is this country. Well, that, you go... You go Send me to Disney World to go to a nightmare. But anyway, let's let's distract from, from from the issues because the last time I was in the states, by the way, was 1998. I have no intention of going in that direction. They have a Disney World in France. That's okay. Neither. What's yet? <laughs> Where do you want people to wear hijab? Do you like you really out to aggravate uh, me this morning? So, so let's so make so, sure so let's flag not on half mass. Uh, well, uh, again, you, you're doing all the right things. You have your entourage. You have your little flag. You have everything. Do you have the support? We Fazir. If it's one thing we have, it's support. Every oh, you time mean I, those, those anonymous people on social media yes, who now. don't really exist? Pump your brakes. Yes, no. When we have a meeting, the Progressive Empowerment Party, besides you, mm -hmm. no other media giving us coverage, and we still of pack in the Of course, because they see you as an, they are unfair, but they see you as a non-entity. The, the media first part. are only interested. The media's job is not PNM, to UNC, the, the PNM, the country has determined that this is a, this is a binary country. Yeah, either PNM or your UNC. Fazir, they cannot tell the public that when NACTA's last poll published news, they said more than half the people of the country don't want either of them. More than half. But do they want the PEP? That doesn't mean that they all fall to PEP, but it says that it is time for us to actively work to build an alternative and a solution. The Nigel Henry poll, you read it? You read the poll at all? We saw what, it, we, what we saw the headlines on the Express he said that, that PN, PN gets a passing grade. Yes. But 96% of the same people that gave the PM a passing grade said crime was a crisis and the economy was in crisis. 90s. How do people in the 90% percentile say that everything that you are managing is collapsing, it is failing? But we give you a pass. Anyway. Because the same reason the person sent me the WhatsApp not so long ago and said, well, boy, what are we going to do? Because that, we live in well, a is country. Is that or Kamala? That because we saying? live in a country where nobody asks Nigel Henry, who did you poll? No, but the point is... Who did you poll? That's an important okay. question. It would have been 411 if people... If you poll my entourage, if, yeah. I, if I have support, you get 100%? Of course. Then that's the question. Mm. Who did Nigel Henry poll? But because if, if the same people say that crime is crisis, 96%, yeah. and 80-something percent say you are mismanaging the social fabric of the country, how did he get a pass mark? But that's not important. That's yeah. a poll. No, but, but okay. And, and if polls work in their favor, they're happy with the poll. And if it works against them, they're not happy with the poll. This is a country this morning for zero, where I woke up to a nation where the prime minister has been linked to AV oil and fraud. He has been linked to it. His defense lawyer, Michael Kwamena, is now the head of the company that AV oil is alleged to have defrauded. Now, come on. Come on. They're not even trying anymore. How is that possible? Because this is That is himself to himself to himself to himself to the nth degree. But this is how it's all is it, but How do you expect to change that? No, see, you're living in a country where the DPP just charge a man for sedition. And our sedition act don't even know what sedition is. The very act does not state if I charge you with burglary, mm. when the judge read the law, the first description is what burglary is. They have nothing like that in the Sedition Act. I had Mario Merritt, Hassan Sheikh, and Wayne Sturge, the only legal team in this country who's ever done an actual Sedition matter on an, an interview show we do every week called Plain Talk. And they can't tell you what Sedition is. 
what it might be, what they think the, 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 the law wants it to be. And I'm saying to you, we can't continue this way. Every time I come here, you just ask me, how much members we have? Right. Because, okay. Yeah. Because Isn't that a fair question? No, it's not. Why is that a fair question? Because it's unfair I, to ask you how many members you have. You see, you see, to the sycophants and the trolls, I bring it up this time. Yeah. Because I want to ask you something. You think Andrew Gabriel, Michael Abud, and Tony Sabga have party card? I don't know. You think asking. Junior Sammy and, and Dino Kalu have party card? The people who make money when government come and government go, they don't have party card. Party card and membership and all the people who have a PNM card have a UNC card too. Because that's for milk money. That's for OJT. So you're saying, membership, you're saying paper membership is not important. Okay, fair enough. Membership, but wait, not worse. Yeah. If you were to do a contrast mm -hmm. to the people who benefit from social services and the people who have membership in these political parties, you will be in the 90%. OJT, URP, CPEP, HDC, all of those things. Show me your party card. I remember Marlene McDonald opening for George just the other day, the last housing project they opened and hand out keys. She said, don't forget to vote PNM, eh? That's misbehavior in public office. This is state funds. Why, is it, why, you, is, why have you spent the last five minutes saying things that we know already? This is a, because we know it and we're not actioning it. But do Sabga, people, okay, this morning, do people have a lawyer named it? Andre Rudder from J.D. Sillier trying to sue me for asking of the FIU, did they clear dole for the Range Rover purchase from Sabga Motors? The commissioner of police say if he's a fisherman publicly, he fishing for goldfish. What they want, that we go to court and bring Suzanne Francois of the FIU and Gary Griffith, Commissioner of Police, to sit down and give evidence? The question has to be asked. I am now the most sued politician in this country's history for asking questions that the DPP, the Integrity Commission, and even the Anti-Corruption Investigation Bureau not asking. And how is that going to translate into support where if it really it matters? If it does not, mm -hmm. if it does not, when those who benefited from the frenzy of feeding jump in their lifeboat and leave when this country eventually collapses, all those who stay, who have to go and do like Venezuelans and dig in garbage can and trap rat to feed the children, I want them to remember. There was Why a are time you are, you, are you suggesting that Trinidad and Tobago is my, going to go to my, that level? we beyond that level. How, How could we be beyond that level as Venezuelans come in here and we're not going there? Because watchmen are rats leaving us. political rat, replica rat, come to serve us this morning. Rats leaving us sinking ship will hold on to a Styrotex cup. But that's not where they're going to stay. They come here as a pass. Where all of them who get the, they, 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 they are. But the point is, where them, Alexander, we where are not them. going to Venezuela. They, they, you know this hyperbole on your part, gallery for the audience. You think we're not there? The economic engine that drove this country, Petrotrain, is no more. What happens when Colm could no longer tax you and me and borrow money to pay the bills? Everything he's going to tell you in the budget is a repackaging of debt. Holland, who got oil after us, has $600 billion in their Heritage and Stabilization Fund. We have three. We owe more than that to the Chinese. Were you telling me our balance sheet says at some point, they live. At some point. At some point. Like when Montano went and levy on City Hall. Remember that from the left? Mm -hmm. And took everything. At some point, the $82 million that Rowley just spent on Whitehall Bailiff, somebody making hundreds of millions of dollars in this country, renting roof over the Red House, over the President's House, over mill floor, renting roof. I watched the UNC sit in government for five years and six months. And next door to the Four Roads Police Station, there is a place called Shaconia Heights. And there was rented scaffolding around that building. For five years and weren't you months. the advisor to one of those ministers during that time to the national security minister and only so you because, were part of it no only while. because he was my friend he used to call me every yeah. Monday. so he was your friend yeah right? only because he used to call me every and Monday you, morning. So you were prepared to sacrifice your principles Not at all, because i used to be on to your be your friend no i used to be on your show still to be your friend. and he used to call me every Monday morning are you going to go in the crazy tomorrow Ask gary griffith this call him for you to gary
mm. and ask him this. Gary used to call me into his office every Monday morning and tell me, you're going to get me fired. It is me that Jerry had he talk about that make them take down all the billboards they put up of Kamala. When I say the day you find Kamala, it's me who come on the show to talk about fire and ill. Fire and ill over life sport. It is me who come on the show to talk about Fuad and Fuad calling to Akash Samaru and say, once you get an ambulance in less time than KFC, take the deliver chicken. All that time, that 14 months, I was the communications advisor to the Minister of National Security. But I don't, so sacrifice, you the game I don't sacrifice my integrity for nobody. I still here this morning. When I'm alarming this morning, I say, nah, man. Nah, not again. The people, say, when you say it, you think, I don't know. Plenty of people say, what do you can do for me? Come entertain me this morning. Dance for me. Well, this is like, Dance a, for this me. Is like a rehearsal for 5 p.m. in the quiz tomorrow. Yep. But what does it mean as far as some, moving towards somebody, a viable alternative? You bring Nikolai, Michaela, Vasant, all of them here this morning. Mm -hmm. And they want to talk to you about all the ways and means that you could try and give them an end. Because they're auditioning. I'm not auditioning. I never, ever pretend for the people. Who I am is who I am. I speak it plain. This country on fire. And you are too plain for the audience. Well, maybe, but I'm saying this. At so, so some what point, is the point then? What is the you, point of the exercise? When you go to the doctor and he tell you mm. that the cancer has metastasized, get your affairs in order. He don't say that sweet. He doesn't. Right. This is a serious thing. Trinidad is in trouble. Your minister of education published condolences to a stalwart of the party he is a member of and put the wrong woman picture. Linda Babulal's eulogy has a picture of Carolyn oh, Carolyn Zipas 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 and, and throw her family into dismay because they thought Carolyn died. Well, let's assume you believe anything on social media anyway. But the point is, Philip Alexander, OK, how should I phrase it then? You take it. So why are you here? Same reason you're here. Are you here to make money? That's why you're here? Yeah, yeah. Right, I okay. won't put you right. on the spot. I won't put you on the spot. Yes. I'll say this. Yeah. My father spoke a lot of things into my ears as a child. And one of those things was, to whom much is given, much is expected. When people like Michael Moses and them come on my threads on Facebook to argue with me, they will ignore everybody else who say what I say. But if I say it, they have to come and argue with me. Because when I put it away... Why you aggravate people so much? Because I bring the credibility of knowledge. People look at me and say, look at him, look at what he know, look at who he's moved with, look at his name, look at his skin color and ear texture. Well, he's exactly. supposed, For he's that supposed, reason alone, he's you have no chance. But he's supposed to he's be... He's a white boy from the West. Exactly. You expect to lead this and country? He's a, why he not fixing your own business? Why he not setting the state ladders and reflectors for the highway? People are scared of my ears. and say, Yo, you need to know the real story about Philip tell Alexander. Tell them, you know. why you don't tell them? Listen, mm. Philip Edward Alexander is willing to sit on a table with a hundred of y'all. Come and tell him his real story. And unlike the 1% the, the Kabbalists, no, no um, pre-action protocol. Come on, talk. Well, I didn't think I'm afraid of pre-action protocol. No, but come I'll on, talk. Before we, end, we, had, we head into a pre-action protocol, we have to take that break now. 7.15 in Trinidad and the Big. If you feel you're getting me in legal trouble this morning, this you're a liar. We're coming all. back right after this break. And uh, at this meeting, what issues are going to be discussed? 5 p.m. at the Quasi, the Promenade. What, what are you we, going to We are a country twice the size of Singapore. You tell me, don't compare to Singapore. I am comparing economically to Singapore. We are twice the size of Singapore. We got independence at the same time as Singapore. Their economy, their GDP, is $322 billion. US. They are half the size of Trinidad. We are $22 billion US. Now, you explain to me. They don't have oil and gas. They don't have a Tobago, they don't have a pitch, they don't have a nylon pool, they don't have the best cocoa in the world, the second hottest pepper, the best honey on the planet. They don't have none National of that. National instrument. They don't have Marshall. They don't have nothing. It is just leadership and management. Discipline, Philip Alexander. Discipline. That is our first watchword. That, tolerance and production. Yeah, but the first line of the anthem is forged. So what do you expect? I find all of talking that. Discipline, tolerance, and production. No, we tolerance. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did those watchwords go? The plantation watchwords. Discipline. How? Okay. Tolerance. As I said, Fazir, you're telling me things that we know already. I could have come here and with that you your you know, I almost do? No, and so I, on. I would have come with a crossword. Right. I was going to come with a crossword uh -huh. and say, Fazir, take a break and I will sit here for 15 minutes. We could do that and accomplish the yeah, same but thing. But I don't know. Yeah, but okay. 
So are you in an exercise in futility? The same thing we were talking at the break about the sinking of the Titanic. And as I told Let's you... Let's give them the analogy. The ti no, the, titan the Titanic has already hit the iceberg uh -huh. and it took four hours to sink. And during those four hours, people were still dancing in the ballroom and having dinner. But as I told you... As the I captain told, told them Trinidad, the ship sink. Trinidad and Tobago is where the boat is almost sinking. The ship is almost sinking. All I have to do is to put Marshall at the top of the boat just before it and sinks. We and we whining on a sinking ship. We whining on a sinking ship. That's us. That's You're what I right. have to do. For zero. So, so, so really, you are, in, you are in a, involved in an exercise in futility. I, I don't come here to argue with you. I know that, but you are I, I wonder why. Okay, why do you do this? Because nobody is taking my mother. Ask my father. My house, when I was 10 years old, was Clive Panton headquarters. We've grown up on the Woodbrook Action Committee, sweeping street, um, um, helping the poor. My mother is a foundation member of the Living Water community. Call me yesterday and, and say... And Clive Panton couldn't win an election absolute, because absolute, wrong but, color. Okay, but the Panton family made a difference in the country. And at the end of the day, for zero. Because people always ask the question, who vote you in office? When they write the history of Trinidad and Tobago, along the way, they're going to have to acknowledge the people who tried. You're going to have to. You think so? I think so. If you can't even acknowledge a coup attempt of 1990, you expect them to acknowledge the people who tried? You have a prime minister this morning who, through email gate, committed sedition. If anybody committed sedition. Well, you're saying that. Eh? I'm not if, saying that. But okay, the actual law and his actions. When Gary but Griffith... But email gate didn't prove please, anything? It let just, just let me finish this so I'll give you this. Yeah. When Gary Griffith said... He closing all gates. He closed email gate. It is nonsense. It is not real. It is not true. It is proven false at every level. No, no, there is not enough evidence not to what he prosecute. Said. That's not what he said. That's not what he said, but not what the DPP said. The DPP have nothing to say in the investigation. The DPP have nothing to say. Because the DPP has, has no himself. investigation powers. The DPP, the said DPP the goes to court and refers to the investigation that the police conducted. And the police say, there is nothing here. The Farrak Sarawi. In what has well, the, in trouble no, but what is the, what is the funniest thing I've ever heard? Farrak said, even if there's a rumor that a cowboy came riding through on a unicorn, and you prove that there is no unicorn, still focus on the cowboy. That is the madness of the conversation. You cannot have a situation where the commissioner of police, where Google, everybody who involved say, this is not real. What? Did the Prime Minister read? A man who stood up in the Parliament and was aghast and in fear for a journalist like Denise Ren, one of your colleagues, mm. who the Kamala, Gary, and Saroj and Anand was coming to kill. No, you can't say that. He you said can't it. Say that. He said it. And it's all over the Express in your archives. And he said that. But he took six months to bring it to the Parliament. And in the six months he had this, he didn't call Denise, he didn't call the police, he didn't call the DPP, he didn't call nobody, he didn't call the media. Six months, he sat on a threat that had him aghast and frightened for Denise, fooling people. He knew when he read email gate mm. that it was nonsense. Okay, and okay. That, I don't know if you can read his mind, but I can't. Brother, if yeah. you know that your cameraman, mm. that they say somebody coming to kill him, mm. will you wait six months to tell him? I hope not. And in the, in the couple of minutes that we have left, someone say who in the background, they think I will wait. But anyway, I, I have nothing against him. But anyway, meeting coming up. Cameraman, I was just joking. I was yeah. just using yeah. an analogy. Meeting coming up at 5 p.m. Tomorrow. Do you think that all of these issues that you've, you, you've raised are of any relevance to the majority of the electorate of polls. Of Trudan not to polls. Answer the question. I like. am. I answer the question with fact. You want me to start at the end and end at the start? Wherever you want to go. Good. NACTA polls what they think is a comfort zone. Mm. Right? And that comfort zone has NACTA in a tizzy. Because they can't go back to Steve Castani at Newsday and they can't go back to Keith Rowley and whoever is spending the money at Bally's house to say, listen, they have no way to ask this question where people choose the PNM. None. And they don't want the UNC either. So who are they talking about? Plenty of people saying... Who is this half a 1% Syrian boy, Philip Alexander? Who's he? I hear about he. They're talking about him on the road. I go in the bank to use the ATM machine, the girl who mopping. She said, I, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I hope all you running in Belmont. I said, ma'am, we are. Our chairman, Felicia Holder, she's already the shadow MP. You're going to go in the quasi tomorrow afternoon and say all the things I am going to say? stand up in the quasi tomorrow and tell Trinidadians that the reason 
to dig a hole in Trinidad is $15. And to dig a hole in New York City is $15. But for the money you get in New York City, you could buy five lunch. And for the money you get in Trinidad for that hour, you ought to work a day to be able to buy lunch. Our economy is mismanaged. Our country is mismanaged. We have no idea what is going on. We made a joke in the waiting room to come in here that Trinidad... Apparently, a PNM fanatic just called the producers and said, don't bring him back. Don't bring him never. Yeah. Trinidadians went, we, we send the crew to Bahamas. We send Tientek and Wasa. They already have no current. What Tientek going to do? And what Wasa going to do? Finish due to the roads what Dorian didn't? What we doing? What we doing? We can't run our own country that in crisis 50 years now, we're going to rescue somebody else. Trinidadians watching and they listen. And for the first time, there is somebody like me who could not just stand up to Rowley and Kamala and Rowley tell Munilal he had one shit kickers meet him outside. I will meet Rowley outside. For the first time, they have somebody that's not just willing to stand up to the PNM and UNC, but to stand up to the unseen hand behind them, the string pullers and the financiers, people who I just call uncle and auntie. I'm willing to take this conversation to the street this Saturday, 5 o'clock, we in the crazy. Philip Alexander. Thanks very much for joining us this morning. Well, I suppose the live Facebook feed and the whatever else that goes on in the, the PEP world of promotion should be quite vibrant uh, this morning. Once for zero on Nothing it. Nothing else. They go on. Serious? They love your bad. They go for me some change for that. Nice. Because I need it. We'll be back right after this break. <laughs>